Welcome back, everyone, to more of The Witcher. Now, Hattori. Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me! No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely! You must find me a bodyguard! Geralt, I beg you! They'll kill me! Uh. Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. A dozen? Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Ugh. Atori, I'm only doing this so you can craft me weapons. Hard times we live in, uh... Just so you know. <laughs> Her name is cool as Hattori. He's a wimp. Yes, I should interject. What the fuck are you doing? Definitely build like a Skelliger. Call that a conversation? Not your plowing business. You need a smack, is that it? Heroic deeds, but imagine, well, you know. Time to end this. That Fateri guy, the elf, at the the card tournament was tougher. Sorry, but you asked for it. I'm Geralt. Sacrus, you did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. Man, Skelligers are just so chill, you know? <laughs> They're just like, ah, eh, we fisty cuffs, then we fucking drink. No worries. What brings you here, Garrett? You and the merchant, what was that about? Why my sis wedded that clown and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet talk me at first. Skellig and me, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Hmm. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to batter. Favor for a favor, huh? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? My brother-in-law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. Ugh. <sighs> <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of maid. It was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. Alright, so if no get coin, smash the barrels. <sighs> oh, you make a fine sailor. 
Wait, how, how the fuck do I get out? Up here? Oh, 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 right. Give us a kiss. Right, merchant. Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get Mr. Sucrus. The man's a boor. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. The palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. Yay, it came in handy. I haven't used that in I don't know how long. <laughs> yeah, I mind raped your brother in law. Got your money though. <coughs> you still want me to destroy the barrels? Eh, what I don't do. Hey, Whitey, why'd your hair go white? <laughs> right, okay. Greetings. Hi, hi, Garrett. How you doing? Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't see why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. For that time period, Skellige bodyguards, I think they're, they'd be pretty tough. Like, not with all pew pews and, sh and shite. I know in the Witcher world you don't really have many pew pews. You have some, but not a lot. So I think um, the Vikings, they'll do good. They do good work as far as bodyguarding go. Ignore that. No loitering around here. Alright, Hattori, make me some weapons. Oh. It's not just a free city, it's free weapons. Wouldn't mind a donut. I guess. Greetings, Hattori. See, Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. All right. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. <sighs> Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No, you'd never agree. Oh, come on, just out agree with it. To what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could borrow a little. Sure. <laughs> what are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? And why? 
It's simple. I'm sorry, Geralt. Swords it's my fault. Seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right. Is all there right. a sword called trebuchet? Something I agree. How do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Oh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. All right. Sucrose, need your help. Greetings. Oh, Garrett. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mm, sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there, look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. I'm gonna guess now is a suitable time as any. It is just after dark, hey. Great. What level is this? 24. Okay, so no. No matter. They synced up the drums pretty well with the animations. You could actually hear the boing, boing, boing as you hit uh, with the little drummer, drumstick thing. What do I know about instruments? Nothing. We can gather it here at my place. What? Do you have binoculars? Alright. We know all we need to know. Just one guard at the entrance. I'll take care of him. Thought you might. Me nose ain't all that sensitive. I'll not find the right crates, so you gotta mark him with chalk. We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Maybe Axie will come in handy again. <laughs> what the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! <laughs> and I'll just... Abracadabra, hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse? Sleep! <laughs> Your yeah, Sigrin sends his regards. By your own Durin, just don't nick everything. And hurry, get it done while I'm in the privy. <laughs> I don't want to fuck with them. Where are those crafting supplies? Does stink of ammonia. Must be it. That'll be it. Gotta signal them now. Mm-hmm. No. No, no, no. Alright. Cool. Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Garrett. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus! Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you've pulled. Hattori sent you? 
that ploughing non-human will come, come on and strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these ploughing nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Uh, uh, whatever. Give him here, Sukris. Yeah! <laughs> ow, ow. Why am I not using Ard? This fighter? Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger. Friends? Of course, friends. What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Dracker that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes to. Won't be any more <laughs> What? <trouble. laughs> maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to her Tories. True. I had to pay him a visit too. <laughs> we'll just take him to Skellige. Fuck it, brother. <laughs> Aye. Why are you looking at me cross-eyed, grey boy? I don't even know what to do anymore. What? <laughs> Ain't had none of this. I'm out of here. I mean, at this point, <laughs> it's like Dragon Age 2, at this point, I've just killed half the population of Velen or something. Just killing people all over. No scruples. No scruples. Woo! Hey! Okay. Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Great. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. Have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. Um... So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. What? Okay. Uh. Oh, why am I going that way? Why didn't I just go back? Tori, I've been sitting here for 29 hours. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? My sword ready yet? It is. Behold and admire. A sword to outshine all others. Alright, that's a fancy well, guard. this was worth the wait. Thank you, Ibeer. It is I who thank you. For everything. All right, all right. What do you Blade have from the bits? Oh, uh, right, right, right. Oh yeah, we should get the maps. Always get the maps. Um, well, he's got a ton of supplies. All we need to craft shit, really, except monster bits. But I have to harvest that. That's that's sadness. That's sadness that I have to do stuff. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? 
pop, pop. <laughs> Hattori, please. <laughs> please, Hattori, what the fuck is this? God damn it. <laughs> it's made of nothing! <laughs> what a, what a... <laughs> He's like, what? Why do you want me to? What, Gerald? Do you, do you not like it? Do you not like what I made for you? <laughs> he gets totally sad. I ruined his his, his dream or something. Um. All right. So that means I can make. Okay. I was like, what? It just keeps toggling on again. <laughs> What do I do? So he can make it. Because he's awesome. Mastercrafted. Well, only journeyman. What the fuck? Don't I have a Mastercrafted? Uh, I guess I don't. I just wanted to compare. Um, do I really not? Uh, well, woven. Okay, so steel sword. What? Why? That's weird. So for a steel sword, master crafted. You need to be a master, of course. Makes sense. But for a silver blade, journeyman. What? What, what? What, 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 what? Uh, I can also make re repair kits. Cool, cool, cool. That's cool. Yeah. So long. All right. So next time we are gonna master armor. Uh, and that was a uh, bleh. Just do these. Um, that was a Witcher contract. Uh, with the wood? What? Uh, a dragon. No, it's level 26. Griffin, right? Arch Griffin. Right, cool. So that's what we're gonna do next time. So, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And, um, yeah, next time we're gonna kill, kill an arched griffin, no problem. Um, and, um, then we'll get the master armor unlocked. Because we're cool guys. We're such cool guys. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And tune in to the next.